Hello, this is Sara Cruz of GoWalks Portugal. Do you remember my first video about things to do around Lisbon? We went to Serra do Louro for a hike through the windmill route, where we've learned about the prehistorical occupation of the site and got to see Roman ruins, abandoned mills, traditional bakeries, beautifully restored windmills, among many other things. While we were hiking, I couldn't take my eyes off the mesmerizing views over the castle of Palmela. So, after our hike, we went to explore the village and its castle. We should have walked there, but honestly, I could barely stand on my feet after the hike. So we drove uphill through the narrow streets. until we found this millinery castle. If only its walls could speak. This structure is older than the Portuguese nationality, and what we can find here nowadays is the result of several repairs, reconstructions and enlargements throughout the centuries. The first thing we find when entering through its Barbican gate is a set of walls that served to trap the enemies in case of invasions. Another interesting thing about castles is the presence of the Traitor's Gate. These are strategic military secrets that you can find in most castles and medieval cities of Portugal nowadays, and that I usually teach people about during my guided tours. It's also usual to find churches inside the walls, and Palmela's castle, though initially built by the Islamic populations, is no exception. This castle served the Santiago military order, which established its religious military seat between 1443 and 1834. Santiago's church was closed that day, so it was only possible for us to visit the ruins of Santa Maria Church. This temple might have been constructed during the 12th century over a previous mosque. It was used throughout medieval ages and unfortunately part of it collapsed during the earthquake of Lisbon in 1755. It was later used as a cemetery and even served as a wheat field. The castle and Santiago's church are considered national monuments since 1910. And right on their side, you'll also be able to find Santiago's convent. Built in the 17th and 18th centuries, it was restored and converted in a Posada de Portugal since the 70s of the 20th century. This means you can stay here for the night. It's such a great location, right next to Troia Peninsula and the natural park of Arrabida. Just a 15 minutes drive from the beautiful city of Setúbal and 40 minutes from Lisbon. I wouldn't think twice if I had the opportunity to stay here. Anyway, we continued our castle quest, exploring the Menace Tower. Over there, you may learn about Portuguese history 
and enjoy the fabulous views over Palmela village and its surroundings. I made sure to take my time being thankful for this wonderful country I live in and its vast, exciting history that I love telling people about. I did have to battle the window. Before going back home, we still had time to enjoy the Islamic archaeological findings and say farewell to the windmill route from the top of the hill. It was surely an unforgettable day, surrounded with people I adore and doing what I love most, which is exploring Portugal and sharing it with you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learning about another thing to do around Lisbon. If you did and aren't yet subscribed to this channel, do it! I'll have more suggestions for your trip very soon.